Today, you're gonna learn all about how to draw bears. I'm gonna make it very simple for you. You're gonna learn the shape to use for the body. I'll teach you how to draw the head. Let's get started. All right, so here's the very first step is let's draw the body first. And here's the shape that you wanna draw for the body. You wanna draw a pear-like shape. And that shape looks like this. All right, second is let's draw the legs. You can draw with two rectangles or you do this curved line and a straight line and a circle at the end like that. And bears also have that for the legs, the back legs. Number three, you want to draw a circle for the head. Let's draw a circle here. And then number four, you want to draw the muzzle. So the muzzle is a small circle here. And bears have smaller snouts. And they go up. And then you connect it. Number five is the ears. Bears tend to have these pretty small ears. They are half circle shapes. And then number six, you can draw the neck. And you can connect it with two lines. So bears actually have this layer of fat that goes around it, okay? And around the neck too, right after the neck is actually this bump. Do you see it right here? So you can draw that bump. Okay, we're almost done guys. So after number six, let's add the details. So let's draw a nose here. We can draw it as a small circle here. You can add the mouth and just do a curved line. For the eyes, you can do two dots or two small two small small circles. Let's add fur. So to draw fur, I like to draw these zigzag lines like that. And usually I add them to where, where things are bending. So I might add it here. I might add it here. And we can also add on the bottom and around the legs. And you can also add some patterns for fur. Basically it's just an indi indication of fur. And some bears have small little tails too, so you can add a little tail. And at the end, you can erase the lines that you don't need. So let's erase these lines that we don't need. And there we've drawn our bear, isn't that cool? Drawing bears is pretty easy once you know the shapes. The baby bear is the same shapes, but it has a much bigger head. So you want to make that pear, pear shape, and you want to make a bigger head. It's the same shapes. And muzzle. And maybe here you make shorter legs. Uh, this is how you make a baby bear. It's a super cute baby bear. Yeah. Okay, so the first step is to draw a circle for the head. So let's draw a circle for the head. So that's step number one. Step number two, let's draw two lines for the neck, out like this. And number three, we're going to draw a circle for the muzzle. So the muzzle is going to look like this. And that's this shape right here and this shape right here. So after we've drawn the muzzle, let's draw the eyes. And I like to make a T for where the eyes will be. So this helps me draw the eyes in the center. And for the eyes, bears have pretty small eyes, so let's draw two small circles. Like that. Okay, after we've drawn the eyes, we can draw the ears. And the ears, again, are two half circles. Step number six, let's draw the nose. And the nose looks like a circle. 
and let's draw the nostrils. So the nose is a circle and inside the circle, there's a circle here and a circle here for the nostrils and it connects down like this. You can draw this circle, make it go down, a curve line and go like that. Okay, so that's pretty easy. After the nose, let's draw the mouth. And the way you draw the mouth is you have a line that comes straight from the nose and you can make the bear smile. If you want to make it smile, it, it can curve like this. If you want to make the bear just just looking at you, you, you can curve that, that way. I'm going to make our bear smile since he's a happy bear. Okay, number eight, let's draw the eyebrows. For the eyebrows, we're going to draw a line in the middle here. This is part of the nose, uh, part of the head. For the eyebrows, we can draw a couple lines here. And eyebrows are very expressive, so if you wanted to make the bear happy, you can make eyebrows that are bent like this. So they can look like this. The bear's happy, the bear's angry, it can look, you can make the eyebrows go down. If he's worried, you can make the eyebrows go that way. So use your eyebrows the way you want to express emotion in your bear. All right, I'm gonna put little dots for eyeballs inside. All right, so after we have eyebrows, let's draw, let's draw the body and, and the neck. So why don't we add a circle here, a half circle here. This is gonna be where the body is. Now, as you can see here, their bears have a layer of, of fat basically around their necks. It helps them, keeps them warm. So let's draw that. And I imagine it like a scarf. So you can draw two lines and it curves down and goes back up. Oh, I forgot here. So for the nose, when you've drawn the nose here, let's connect the nose back up here. That's where the muzzle connects to the face. Okay, for the fur, we can draw little lines that make it look like fur. And you can also draw these zigzag shapes. So you can both draw those kind of shapes. And you can see that the fur comes out on the side. So you can draw these zigzag shape patterns on the side. You can also make little lines for the ears. And this is how you can indicate the fur. That's how you make him look furry. Draw lots of little lines out to the side. And on the edges, you can have little bits of fur stick out in these zigzags. You can also delete the lines that you don't need. So you can use your eraser and delete those lines you don't need anymore. So go ahead and use your eraser. And this is just now adding patterns to your drawing. I hope you had so much fun learning about how to draw bears. You learned how to draw the face, you learned how to draw fur, and you also learned the basic shapes so that way you can draw out of your imagination. Remember, have fun with your drawings, keep practicing. If you ever need to pause, you can always go back and just keep on practicing. Practicing makes perfect, and you'll also remember those basic shapes so that way you can draw out of your imagination. We'll see you next time.